You really think you get me? We'll see about that. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Talk with Tom. I'm your host, Tom. You might have guessed that. And uh, today we're talking about a show called OKKO. OK it's about this gentleman right here, this little boy. It's actually really disorienting to try and like do this while also looking in the viewfinder. So OKKO OK is Ian JQ's new show. Uh, you might have heard of him. He worked on a couple shows, kind of successful. You know, no big deal. But uh, this show is a show about a kid who works in a store in a strip mall called Lakewood Plaza Turbo. He works at Gar's Bodega, owned by Mr. Gar himself. And he works with his co-workers Enid and Green Muscle Man. And he's a pretty cool muscle man. You might even say he's dope. So anyway, a common theme in this show is working in customer service and retail and that kind of thing. Especially in the episode You Get Me. And what some of you may not know is that I'm not actually like Jake Paulin out here. Like I ain't rolling in YouTube money. I ain't got a Benz out front or a Rolls Royce or a Lamborghini or whatever. I, I was actually working in customer service up until like less than a week ago. You know, I was I was working in a grocery store in a deli cutting up salami and head cheese for old people so I, I get the struggle I, I understand what it's like to work in customer service so i was like you know what maybe i should uh do like a little bit of an analysis on this episode like let, let's look at it let's take a look let's open it up and like see what's inside pull out some props i'm riffing off of nothing i don't know what i'm saying let, let's act let's 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 get back in track. When you work in customer service, sometimes... Sometimes you hear the phrase, The customer was always right! The customer is always right. And uh, you're like, yeah, no, that's... no. And you know, you always got those... those people who will say that, and they'll threaten to get the manager at the slightest inconvenience. Because in their mind, they just see you as like this rude, awful person. And they want to see you get yelled at or fired because they personally had a problem with you. And it's it's exhausting, honestly. It's really exhausting to deal with, especially when it's like sometimes it's stuff where they go and get the manager and the manager is just like, yeah, they're, they're following store policy. I don't know what, I, I can't really, it's like, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm out of that fucking hell. I don't fully understand the rationale behind these people. I think some of them are just jerks, and I know what they're paying the ass to deal with. OKKO OK pretty accurately depicts what it's like to work in a job like this. You know, most of the time you're just kind of sitting around, maybe socializing with your fellow employees, and, you know, you're just kind of hoping that not a lot of customers come. I know that I've heard some people be like, oh, but don't you want to be busy that way the shift goes by faster? No! I get paid by the hour. I want as few people to come in as possible. That way I get paid and I don't have to do as much work. And like everyone who's worked in a job like that knows the feeling when you're telling your coworker a story and then like right when you start, a customer walks up and you're like, okay, so me and my friend, uh, Joe, we were out. Uh, hold on. Yeah, all right, have a nice day. So anyways, ah, uh, fuck, hold on. How you want that? Okay, have a nice day. So we saw this guy and fuck. The main antagonist episode is a illustration of one of the most irritating customers you are ever going to get. And in the dude's defense, he was being ignored and like, you can't really do that. You can't really ignore a customer, but like. Don't feel bad for him, KO. He wasn't gonna buy anything. He just wanted someone to talk at. When people just sit there and talk your ear off and then they don't actually buy anything and they don't actually need help with anything they're just talking to you so then you just end up sitting there for 10 minutes listening to this person talk and it's like you don't end up getting to the stuff that you need to get done and it just wastes a bunch of time like that that's the worst that's legit the worst don't get me wrong i don't mind when customers are like talking to me and telling me stories about when they were a kid and they worked wherever while i'm helping them but the key word is while like while I'm doing it like if I'm just sitting there like waiting for you to like get to your point so I can help you I was in the middle of something when you walked up and I kind of want to finish that thing before we close and I can't really do that because I can't just walk away from you because otherwise I'll get in trouble but also you're not you're just kind of wasting my time. But let me tell you, these people are happy to judge your character based on their experience. And if they have a even remotely negative experience, then you just became the worst person in the world. Even if you're just doing your job. Sometimes you just gotta deal with people with ignorantly unrealistic expectations. 
And you just kind of got to learn to not care what those people think. I don't really care if people think I'm mean. But doesn't it bug you that they've got you all wrong? Nah. When you work in a job like that, you kind of realize that not a lot of people care about you. Some of your coworkers care about you. People who might have worked in jobs like that care about you. But for the most part, people don't really care about you. You're just kind of the person who does the job that they don't want to do. And they don't think you deserve respect for that. So does OKKO OK get this struggle? Does Ian Jones Cordy get me? I'd say so. If you're gonna make a show, you should probably kinda understand the dynamic of the setting that you're using. And OKKO OK pretty successfully executes that. What the setting happens to be is a store, and the characters happen to be employees in a store. So to successfully pull this off, you kinda have to address this dynamic between employees and customers, even the not-so-pretty dynamics. Even a show like OKKO, OK where there's a lot of really nice action sequences, which the action sequences in this episode are pretty, pretty A+, but they don't really mean anything if there's no context. It doesn't really mean anything if there's no emotion behind it. Plus, it's a situation that members of your audience will be able to connect with and understand. So, OKKO, OK Ian Jones Cordy, you understand some of the struggles I've gone through in life. And I appreciate that. Thanks. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.